This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, let's look at how we can make use of GPT-3 for classifying tweet text. I'll be making use of OpenAI GPT-3 APIs. So the model here is Text DaVinci 003, which is the latest model. It is the most capable GPT-3 model according to OpenAI. It can do the tasks the other models can do, often with higher quality, longer output and better instruction following. Okay. So for this, to make use of Open AI APIs, I have to create an account with Open AI and I have to create an API key. So initially, Open AI provides $18 credit for you to do experiments with their API. And once you exhaust this credit, you have to start paying for the API usage. Okay. So you have to create an API key and this API key can be used in your Python program. So OpenAI has examples over here and one of the example is advanced tweet sentiment class, uh, classifier. Okay. So this is an advanced prompt for detecting sentiment. So this is the prompt basically classify the sentiment in these tweets and then you have the tweets one after the other. Okay. And uh, you have the uh, tweet sentiment ratings basically. So this is the response which you get from the API. Okay. And this is the simple code. So let's go to the code and uh, let's look at it. So for this, uh, I have uh, used a collab demo over here. So I'll be using this. So I have installed OpenAI. Okay. And for extracting tweets from Twitter, I'll be using the Twint Python library. Okay. So Twint is an advanced Twitter scraping and tool written in Python. It doesn't make use of Twitter's API. So you can actually uh, scrape tweets. Okay, I've already made a video on Twint, uh, so you can look at that. Uh, but it's a very simple tool. So I have installed the tool. Okay, so once I install Twint, and I have to install this Nest Async uh, IO library because otherwise, um, you know, uh, certain API calls it fails. Uh, Twint fails over here in these notebooks. So I have installed that as well. Then what I do is that I uh, import Twint. So this is for that, um, you know, API calls issue. So that is what I've done over here. So I import Twint. In Twint, you can first create a config for the search, right? For extracting tweets. And I'm going to search for football because now we have the football world cup, right? I am going to extract say, up to 50 tweets since this particular date, which is 9th December, right? And I want to extract it as a pandas data frame. So I, uh, so I say C dot pandas is equal to true in this configuration. And then I can run the search by like this twint dot run dot uh, run dot search and I can pass this configuration. So it extracts these tweets from Twitter. Okay. So it's actually extracted these tweets. So this was from a previous run. So let's run it once again to see, you know, what kind of tweets are getting extracted, right? So you have these uh, tweets which have been extracted. Okay. So this is one tweet which is, do you even know the meaning of footballing abilities? Something, right? So these were some 100, uh, sorry, 50 tweets which have been extracted. Okay, from Twitter. Now you can convert this into a data frame. Um, so this is where uh, the conversion happens, right? Twint to PD. And I'm passing these particular uh, fields over here. These are the various columns which are available in this data. Okay, so I am pulling out date, username, tweet and hashtags. Okay, so this is how my pandas data frame now looks like. Okay. So once I do this, Basically here I've run the twint dot run dot search. So here I'm doing twint to PD. Okay. So it does it. And this is the, uh, uh, what do you call the tweets which have been extracted. This is from the previous run. Okay. So from the current run, these are the tweets which have been extracted. Okay. So I'm just printing out the top 10 to uh, like uh, 10 in the pandas data frame, 10, 10 tweets. Date is there, username is there, tweet and hashtags. Okay. So I have asked for 50, but uh, 60 tweets have been extracted. Okay. I'm converting this to a list. Now let's go into the open API, uh, open AI part. Okay. So for the open AI, I have to first um, read the open AI key. I store it in a JSON file and I read it over here. Uh, then I import open AI and I set this particular API key. Okay. Whatever API key I have created over here. Right. Then, uh, you know, I'm just running the example, which is shown over here. Okay. This code, I'm just running to see whether it works. Right. 
So here is that particular code where the prompt has been modified like this, classify the sentiment in these tweets and then you have, I can't stand homework, this is one tweet, this sucks, I am bored, second tweet, so on, you have five tweets over here, right? And uh, the model is text davinci 3 and this is the uh, default parameters as per this example. So I run this, uh, I can run it again. Okay, so currently this API is run and it's completed. I can print the response. So if you look at the response now, it says that the first one is a negative tweet, right? I can't stand homework. It, and the second one is negative. The third one is positive. I can't wait for Halloween. Okay, my cat is adorable. That is also positive. The last one is I hate chocolate, which is negative. So it has done this sentiment classification for these tweets. Okay, so now let's run this API on our tweet. Okay, so for our tweets, as I said, the tweets are present like this in a data frame. Okay, I have converted this tweet text to, you know, a list, tweet list. Okay, what I am doing over here is, I have to, so what I do over here is, I iterate through the tweet list. Okay, and I uh, enclose the tweet text within quotes. Okay, I also add a index to the uh, string and I keep appending that to the tweet string. So my final, uh, I just do it for 10 tweets. Okay, basically nine tweets. Okay, so this is how the string is now created. Okay, so if you look at this, what it does is that the first, uh, it has the index one, then this, uh, your tweet enclosed within quotes, then you have a new line. Okay, then the second uh, tweet and so on. Okay, here you have the ninth tweet. Okay. Then I have to add this uh, text to the prompt, right? So that is what I'm doing over here. Uh, classify the sentiment in these tweets, new line, okay, within quotes. I'm adding this particular uh, tweet string over here. And then what I'm doing over here is that I am doing uh, tweet sentiment ratings, okay? So as per this example over here. So that is a special prompt, okay? I'm just changing this content, okay? So I've changed that content now. So let's look at uh, this thing. Okay, this is from a previous run. So let's run it again. Okay. Oh no, this is from the same run. I was a little bit confused over here. Okay, so these are the tweets. Uh, let's see if these are the same ones which come over here. Uh, no, I think I missed this step. Let's go, okay because I see it to be from the previous run. Now let's see. Okay. Ha, huh, yes. So this is the latest, uh, whatever from this latest run. Okay. So here it comes like this, right? Now I am attaching this to the prompt. Okay. Now let's look at our prompt. Yeah. So classify the sentiment in these, suite, uh, in these tweets and then you have this, okay. So the first tweet, second tweet and so on. Okay. Now I'm sending that prompt to the open AI completion dot create rest API. Okay. The model is text dav in C. So let's do that. Okay. Now let's look at the response. So it says the first tweet is positive. Second is neutral. Third is positive and so on. Okay. It's done the tweet sentiment classification. Okay. Now let's just split our, uh, this thing tweets one after the other. Okay. So this is the first tweet. Do you even know the meaning of footballing abilities? Uh, these, these things, uh, football is played with the mind first before the food. That's where Messi excels than Ronaldo. This is the Messi versus Ronaldo tweet, but this is positive. Okay. Now let's also check the responses. The first one is positive. Okay. The second one is in a different language. Okay. And it says it's neutral. Okay. So what we can do is that maybe we can uh, Google translate this and see, okay. What is this particular language and uh, what is the text just for verifying. So it says, uh, Luis Enrique reveals that there is a player he regrets taking to the world cup can be negative. Okay. Uh, maybe this translation is not proper. It could be that there is no player. Um, there isn't a player. So he regrets taking to the world cup. So it could be also positive. Um, so it says as neutral. Okay. So the thing is that here it is even worked for a different language. Okay. It's French. So this um, sentiment classification has also worked for French as OpenAI is multilingual. Okay. 
So then if you are, the third one is if there is a good one, yes of course, but someone like uh, Pep or Klopp they have been here for a minute, they ran the English football for a few years, clearly they know what they are doing, pay up and hire one of them. So it says as positive, okay. Uh, the fourth one is something uh, about, uh, you know, I can't clear, hear it without thinking of something and football tables. Somehow it says as positive, right. So fifth one is again some foreign language. Maybe we can try again putting it in Google and seeing what does this text mean. Okay, let's do that. Uh, he has more followers than something. He's a scammer. I'm suspicious. So I don't know. This could be negative. Uh, but it is saying it as neutral. Okay. Uh, the seventh one is saying everything that you have experienced in professional football till now has made you a veteran. We are expected to pick uh, yourself up and impart wisdom to the younger players. Positive. Okay. So in this way, you can actually classify the tweets using the open AI GPT-3 based text DaVinci 003 language, large language model. Okay. So it is as simple as this. You need to actually uh, change the prompt which you are sending for this text completion, um, basically this API, you need to change the prompt in this form by adding the classify the sentiment in these tweets text as well as the last text which is tweet sentiment ratings. And in between that you have your tweets one after the other. Okay. Now there could be some limits over here because once when I tested this out with um, 50 tweets, it had only uh, generated the uh, sentiments for say some uh, 10 or 15 tweets. Okay, so there could be some limits in the number of uh, tweets it can classify. Uh, there could be some other configurations which you need to check over here, um, maybe the max tokens or something to see, you know, whether you are getting your uh, results. Okay, so this is how you can use GPT-3 to classify sentiment of tweets. To extract tweets, you can use or scrape tweets, you can use the Twint Python library. I hope this short video on how you can use OpenAI GPT-3 model for classifying sentiment of tweets is useful for you. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. See you in another video. Happy learning.